What's up guys? I am very excited for this video today. So I thought today I would celebrate the spooky season and the season of pumpkin patches, Halloween, doing Halloween makeup, pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. And so I thought to celebrate that season, I would try out one pound Halloween makeup from the bargain store today. So one being a witch makeup and then one being a vampire makeup as well. Last year I did Halloween makeup and it was actually kind of all right. I think if I remember rightly, got from Powerland. They weren't very good. They were very sort of cheap, I will say. And then the year before, I did another video where I tried out Halloween makeup and that looked pretty all right. I actually don't remember what that video was like. I guess it would have been bargain store Halloween makeup, right? But I hope you guys are excited for this video. If you are, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all the things. And don't forget to also subscribe to my vlogging channel where I'm vlogging every single day. And let's get into it, shall we? So, yeah. So first up, the first makeup which I tried was the... It was the witch makeup. So the witch makeup came with a, like a makeup palette thing. I had a little like brush thing as well to dibble dabble the makeup on your face. And so I'm going to try and recreate like what it looks like on the packaging. So on the packaging it looks like a perfect witch. So I'm going to try and recreate that and see if I can look like a perfect witch. So here's that. Okay so here's the witch makeup set now. So I'm going to try and resemble this green face person. So I'm gonna open this thing up right now and just get all the witch makeup stuff on. So this thing literally costs about a pound for all this so hopefully it works but I don't think it will work that great though because it's only one pound so it might just work really cheaply but ah oh well. It's the fun that matters. Okay so it didn't come with any makeup sponges so I presume this little tool here does all the makeup in for you. So I need to try and cover my whole face with green thing. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I think I might try using the big green palette. Ew, it's very so waxy. Ew. Alright, so you just then dibble dabble it all over your face, so I think I might just go dibble dabble it first of all, and then once I've got enough makeup, I'll spread it about. <laughs> Well, this is what we've got up to. So there's no thing to like, spread it all about, so I might have to use my fingers to spread it about because that's the only like, viable option to do. So I'm going to just put all this in green right now. So this might take a little while. This is what I've got up to. I've managed to cover most of my face in green, but it's actually all right. Care for the job, but um, I guess you could say it's kind of all right-ish. Now I need to do around my eyes now, so I'm gonna put. I think I might put black around here, like a black round eye ring thing. I think that's what the plan is. Then do the rest of what's not covered in black. Okay, right, I was trying to do it around my eye, but I. Didn't press record for some reason, so uh, so I'm kind of like halfway through it. But right now I am uh, putting black around the eye balls. Oh god, this looks horrifying. It's totally not what it should look like in the packaging, but ah oh well. We'll say this thing actually does pretty alright. The black covers it quite well. I wasn't too sure about the green though. I thought the green was quite thin, so it didn't really cover much, but the black cut to now has been pretty alright, if you ask me. Now for the other eyes. This thing's supposed to look like a witch, so I need to try and make um, this somehow look like a witch. <laughs> Well, do we like? So this is the original picture and this is me. I just literally... No. It's, there is so much difference. We'll go with what we're going with. Now it's saying use the red lipstick. So I will of course use the red lipstick. So I've got a nice little a bit of red here. So get my fingers and you just basically go over your lips. 
This is the lipstick. Two hours later. Okay, you guys ready to see the final reveal? The final reveal of me looking like a witch. I bet you're not, but here goes. Ta da! <laughs> this looks horrifying. But we'll say the product itself isn't really that terrible. Um, could it be better? It could. Um, it feels a lot, a lot like waxy. I'm gonna try to wash my hands before of all the waxy makeup. Like it's very difficult to get off. Like there's still bits of makeup stuck on my fingernails and stuff. So I'll have to really scrub all this off. But it looks alrightish, but I'm just no good at making Halloween makeup. Like I'm totally rubbish at makeup. So I think this is all me, but also a bit of makeup as well because this makeup didn't cover too much of my skin. Like it looks kind of like it didn't really look that good. But yeah, this is the look and this is what I look like. And then lastly, by no means leastly, we have the devil makeup now. And so the devil makeup will be very interesting. So here's the devil makeup. All right, so next up is this devil makeup thing. So it's basically just the same makeup as the um, witch makeup, but it's just devil makeup. So you have to try and recreate the red devil face thing. So I learned from last time with the witchy makeup thing that one, it does not come off. So I had to buy some makeup wipes. So last time I tried to take makeup off, I had like really cheap like facial wipes, whereas I didn't have like proper makeup wipes. So hopefully I should do the trick this time and get makeup off without having to absolutely scrub the life out of my face to get off. Anyway, I've got this devil makeup thing here right now, so let's just, let's do it. Let's just like do it without any fat thing. Let's just open this thing up and just become the devil. So we have the selection thing here, just like the witchy makeup in different colors. So now we have to try and make this face into this face. Let's go. I've just done the base makeup now. Wasn't that good? Anyway, so now I need to put dark click circles around my eyes, so black. So this is all gonna become black eyes. So a bit like the other makeup. So I'm gonna use the thing for this one. So I need to use my fingers again for the last bit because um, this thing doesn't cover that well. So it may be that I'm actually using my fingers again for this one. So yeah. Oh, okay. Right, this one's actually a lot more better. Like this thing provides more coverage. Well, I think black always does. Like the black thing's always more thicker. Okay, I fully know that by putting eye like makeup on my eyebrows, this is going to be my eyebrows for the rest of the day. It looks kind of good, I will say. Yeah, so I'm gonna wash this thing off right now and I'll get back to using the rest of the things now. So I think for around my nose, so this bit around here, I might use brown and use the yellow for the yellow lips, cause why not? The brown's gonna go around my nose, like I said, so. A bit down here, like so. And then, I think I've got a, an idea. I have a vision, and I have an idea. Even if it doesn't work out, at least I'll have a vision, you know, that's what life's all about, you know. You have ideas, and then whenever it doesn't work out, you adjust to them, and that's what I am doing. So, I know that recreating the devil thing I showed in the packaging, it's not gonna work well. So, I just improvised and just adapted to the changing times. And that's actually a good idea because, you know what, in life you should be able to do whatever you want. You know, it's your life and your um, business, so just do whatever the hell you want. Like, if you want to, I don't know, propose to a rock to get married, then propose to a rock to get married. Or if you want to, you know, do what I'm doing right now, it, which is trying to do the devil um, Halloween makeup, but it doesn't work out, so you just decide to do whatever the hell you want. So you just go over this one then. Go this one, like, nothing's stopping you in life. Like, I'm gonna now 
Put like yellow lipstick on my lips, like, hello, this is the life. Of the costume, well, not costume, but makeup. So first of all, we have these like yellow lips, so I just put on the yellow lipstick on, and it does not look very good. I've also put a bit of white out well to make some white, um, white in there. Then we have these um, black eye things, which I know full well that will take me ages to get off, but oh well, it's fun. And then we, of course, have this um, red makeup, so we're vibing. And so that's all the makeup which I'm going to try today, so the makeups were uh, very interesting. They weren't very good, they were very cheap, they were very nasty, but I guess it's quite good fun for if you're like bored and just want to tr try makeup. And it's also good for maybe just some, for something to do on a Friday night, maybe just for a little laugh, maybe, I don't know. But unless you want to go as a hot mess witch or devil with blotches all over your face. If that's what your Halloween plans are, then by all means, um, go for that cheap makeup. But if you're trying to look good, then I guess you'd say don't um, use the cheap makeup. But that brings me to the end of this video now, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have, don't really leave a like on this video, subscribe, I'll do all the things. And I'll just see you guys very, very soon. Bye.